Hi fam, it is I Smriti of House Me. Why are months going by so fast? I don't like it. Anyway, April was the month of Lit with Indian Lit with me. I have spoken about it in my previous video, um, which I will link here. But um, if you want to know about it, essentially, it is a month in which I like to read as much um, Indian literature as I can, specifically Indian translated literature, because that's what I feel I want to read, because I want to read from more uh, states. Um, and that's essentially the plan. However, um, April came in with the pandemic and just kind of <laughs> me in the face and just said, no, you will not read so much. So instead of reading, I spent a lot of time on TikTok. So that was great. But I did read seven books, which I think was kind of okay, considering the um, ups and downs that life put my way. So... I'm going to now talk about them in this video. Just the quick stats. In this month, I have read all male authors, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I plan to read more female authors, but as I said, I didn't read the amount that I wanted to read. Um, I read one author from the north, two from the south, three from the east, which is great because I wanted to read more books from East India and one book from the west. I read a total of 1975 pages and I gave out of the seven books I gave two five stars three four stars and two 3.5 stars so there you have it the first book was the moving shadow or electrifying Bengali pulp fiction um, this is essentially a selection of short short fiction uh, translated by Arunavasina um, it has a compilation of horror and crime fiction. Crime fiction was the mo majority of it, but I, it was weird, but I kind of enjoyed the horror more, even though it was like basically like just this much. Um, but yeah, it was a decent read. I liked that it was like, it was fun and easy to read. I did not like this one uh, story in the middle um, which was very like James Bondy which made me kind of think about do I like James Bond as a character because it just was like oh all women want to sleep with me so I was like mm. anyway but it was still a really fun read and I would recommend it the second book was Poo Money's Heat um, I thought I again gave this 3.5 stars the story is about basically a time when a son kills um, this man in the form of revenge killing and then him and his father have to go into hiding around the village till, until they can kind of figure out what sort of legal recourse there might be um, and in that process it kind of tells you it shows you the relationship between the father and the son it shows you what happened in the past um, and just also tells you about the relationship of this boy with other members of the family um what i liked about this book was that it showed relationships very beautifully um also it touched upon some very important topics such as casteism corruption um just the power dynamics within this world and i thought it was a very well translated book um but what i didn't like about it so much was just it wasn't something that i could completely relate to and it was a little slow paced um, so I didn't really know where this was going, but I still really enjoyed the read and I thought it was a good read. My third book is Age of Frenzy by Marvel Sen. This is a Konkani book and I really like this book. I did give this a four star, but I will tell you why. Um, this book is set in 19, no, 1502 in Goa where uh, it has just been conquered by the Portuguese and basically when the Portuguese came here, they wanted to convert everyone into christianity so there are three types of characters here one is um you know like a missionary who's come to goa who wants to out of his own like goodwill kind of convert people the second are the zealots or the people who like forcibly want to convert them which are the people of um portugal or the rulers etc so that they show different sides to them and the third of course are the people who they want to convert which is in this case a village in goa called aldoshi and they speak to um the various characters within the village and how they kind of deal with this in the process um what i loved 
everything about this book i thought it was brilliantly written and it gave me an insight to um a time which i did not know of um and i've spoken a lot about this book actually in my vlog which i will link here um but i really really like this book the only th reason why um i gave this a four star not a five is because i feel like i'm a very character driven person whereas this was just more situational driven which i get um but there were a lot of characters in this in this and i kind of in this book and i kind of got a little like eh, i don't really know what's happening and i kind of got confused as to who was who but i understood at the end of this book that the whole idea was just to kind of paint a picture of what was happening at that point in time which it did really well and it didn't really focus on characters which i get but for me i just really like a character driven plot more than anything which is why i give it a four star but i really loved it i think everyone should read this book the next book is jarangi by shankar and i love this book this book is a bengali translation of um set in the 1950s in calcutta uh, the book is about a man named shankar who joins this hotel na named shah jahan in um calcutta and it's a story about the people who work in the hotel the people who visit the people who um live in the hotel and i think it was really charming very interesting and kind of informative as well because it told you about its time um and i really 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 enjoyed all the characters and it felt like these mini mini stories within this entire book um and i really really enjoyed it so i gave this 5 stars the book i read after that was the berry by uh, pankaj kapoor i again really like this book it was about amma b who is an old lady who is a matriarch of a family unfortunately her husband has died and her sons and family live abroad now so she is all alone it talks about her loneliness and what she is doing to kind of deal with it and it's this really heartwarming story about how she kind of comes into her own and becomes this cool ass um person who kind of realizes her worth um it, this was a really short story about 64 pages um and i really 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 liked it i still gave this about a 3.5 or 4 stars actually i gave this a 4 star because the beginning was kind of slow so i didn't quite i didn't quite know where it was going but towards the end it was just stunning and uh, if you can see in my vlog which i will link again I uh, was crying a lot. I was crying at the end of this book. It was a really nice read. The next book I read was Six Acres and a Third by Fakir Mohan Senapati, which was an absolute favorite. I loved this so much. It is a satirical book about uh, this landowner or a zamindar. um and just the village around him and how he interacts with them he's basically kind of like a cheat and wants to cheat people out of their inheritance and their village and just a story of how it comes back to him uh but it's not only about him there's also a lot of other characters and this was stunningly written it had um the main narrators were just so funny and just i was laughing so much throughout this book in fact you can see like these are all the um the parts which i put down which is when i laughed my ass off uh because i just thought this was such a fun and great book i really enjoyed it and still it had like even with being funny it had like a really nice plot so i really liked it and i would recommend this to everyone and the last book i read was a preface to a man a preface to man by shivas chandra this is a book translated from malayalam to english um and i really like this book as well this was a book that uh was a generational story it told the story of um this family and especially this man it was told by um letters that he had written to his wife and the kind of manuscript that he had written for and notes that he had taken for a book that he wanted to write once um and she was just kind of putting it together post his death um and i thought this was just supremely well written um it was moving it was a little confusing in the beginning because there were a lot of these malayalam terms which i didn't quite understand and i didn't quite understand it as to why they were talking about a person from like his great 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 grandfather but then it all kind of came together 
um and i just thought it was supremely well written and just a wonderful book but i still kind of gave it four stars because i didn't know what i kind of felt about it um based on star preference but i still thought that this was a brilliant read so yeah very well done Okay guys so this was my April wrap up um please do let me know if you are going to check out any of these books that i have spoken about i really enjoyed practically all of them um so please do let me know and hopefully we will go off much better i am participating in the asian readathon which you can see my tbr linked somewhere here so check that out and let me know if you are also joining me and have fun bye